Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Katie and this is Dark Side of the Truth. As I'm sure you can tell from the thumbnail, today we are going to do a deep dive on Mr. Damo Draper. Now, for those of you who don't recognize that name, don't worry. As soon as I start showing these videos, you'll recognize him because we've gone over him in a previous video. And even if you don't recognize him when you start seeing these videos, don't worry about that either because we are going to do a complete deep dive on Mr. Damo Draper today. I'm going to give you literally everything you need to know about Damo to understand completely the ins and out of everything that we are going to discuss today. Now, for those of you who saw my superhero video, like superhumans and super, you know, people with superpower video that I made a few videos back, there are a few videos about Damo in that video towards the end of that video that we will be covering again in this video. So I just want to give you guys a heads up. There's like two or three videos that you may have already seen, but I felt it was important to include them all in one big overview deep dive video on Damo. So that's why I included a few that you may have already seen. Bear with me. I promise it's worth it to go over everything. By the end of this video, I will have everybody questioning whether or not vampires are really real because that's currently what I'm questioning. Before we go any further, do me a favor and smash the hell out of the like button. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, come on over and get subscribed to our channel and make sure you hit the little bell icon. So hopefully YouTube will let you know whenever I upload new content just like this. So without any further ado from me, let's get straight on into this video because it's going to be a long one, but it's going to be a good one. Roll the intro. Hey, we sleep. The alarm's going off. Beep, beep. Time to wake up. Wake up to the deceit. All reality's made up by the elite. For those of you who don't know, Damo Draper is a TikTok content creator, okay? He mainly focuses on, like, screenwriting and jokes before this content, I guess you could say, started. This exact content that we're going to be discussing in this video. Before he started going down this path, he was, like, a screenwriter. Well, he was trying to be a screenwriter, and he just told jokes, whatever. That was his content that he posted on TikTok. That is until that all changed on September 29th of 2023. And it all began with a simple TikTok comment. The commenter said, Said, Dude, I genuinely cannot tell what age you are. You look so young, but old at the same time. Damo responds to this comment with a video. He puts the comment on screen and he says, confession time, but you won't believe me. And he basically goes into a description about how there's a really good reason for that and that he's tried to tell people this before, but nobody believes him. And he says straight up, I'm a vampire. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> he claims he's a vampire. He claims that humans have been taught vampires are fake or fiction and that we're based basically like brainwashed and hardwired down to our core to dismiss any claim or outlandish claim like this that we hear. He goes on to explain how he is not only a vampire, but he is a 362 year old vampire who is living his 11th life. I shit you not guys, I couldn't make this up if I tried. He even states that he prefers O positive blood type. And then he goes on to explain um, about vampires and how they age. And let me just give you this forewarning. If you haven't seen previous videos of him that I've covered, or anybody else has covered, he is pretty damn convincing. Okay, he, like he's damn convincing to the point where I'm covering this again because I don't know if he's a vampire or not and I kind of want you guys to like digest all this information and let me know what you think. Just watch. Check it out. Dude, I genuinely cannot tell what age you are. You look so young but old at the same time. <laughs> There's actually a really good explanation for that. Um... But you wouldn't believe me. But I'll try you. I'm gonna try you. You actually wouldn't be the first person I tried to tell. Okay, you ready? I'm a vampire. You see, you see? You wanna swipe away right now because of what I just said. Why? Because you don't believe me. Because everything you know and has been told to you about vampires has led you to believe that vampires are fake. Fiction. Right? Remember I said, you're not the first person I tried to tell, right? What if the reason why you all don't believe vampires exist is because every time a vampire like myself has said, I'm a vampire, you didn't believe them. And that's why you think it doesn't exist because of your ignorance. <laughs> you don't believe me, right? <laughs> there you go. Like, you know, it's a vicious cycle. Like, I, I don't know how to get out of it. I've been trying to tell people about myself for about 152, 53 years? What if I told you I'm 362 years old? Hmm? I've lived many of lives. I'm in my 11th life. 
what I mean by my 11th life is I've been known as many other names besides Damo. Who I am now is a man born in, uh, what's my fake birthday? Uh, 1987. I was, I was born in 1987. <laughs> in 1987, I was doing coke lines off of Eddie Murphy's VIP table in Studio 54. <laughs> Nefarious. The 80s were different, baby. <laughs> the 80s were different. <laughs> and you still don't believe me. No, I get it, I get it, I get it. I've been dealing with this for a very, very, very long time. All I can do is just give you information. Oh, for instance, the reason why I look young but old at the same time is because certain things age on vampires and certain things don't. Fun fact about vampires, we, we have the ability, uh, as we consume blood, we have the ability to start reverting back to our younger selves. However, not everything reverts back to our younger selves, i.e. the patch that I have here. But my face is actually reverting back to uh, a teenager's face. That's why I'm dealing with some acne right now. That certain side effects, you know, depends on the, the type of blood you drink. You know, I like, I like O positive, but you know. Yeah, so hope that helps. Um, it's time to go hunting. So uh, getting kind of hungry. Oh, and, and, and we don't always have to drink the blood of humans, man. Like, like you know, I could go get a rabbit real quick, get a quick snack. Like, you know, this is probably another reason why we don't want to come out to y'all because, you know, y'all would try to kill us. You know, you would fail. <laughs> but, you know, you don't got to worry about none of that, you know, because because we're pretty chill as long as you chill. He's either like the best liar I've ever seen, or he's telling his truth. And our brains are automatically hardwired to dismiss any outlandish claims like this. It's like, <laughs> is he being serious? I don't know. I really don't know. When he said that you would try and unalive us, that's like, that's why we don't come out to you and tell you this, because you guys would try and unalive us. You would fail, but y'all would try, but you would fail. He's like, we're pretty chill, if y'all chill. It's like funny, yet creepy, and I don't know what to think of it. So then it goes on to his second video, which was posted the very next day on September 30th of 2020. And he had a comment that said, let's see a picture of you from 100 years ago. And he was making a video responding again to this comment. Now, for those of you who saw my superhuman video with um, the super people with their superpowers and all that a couple videos back, you're going to recognize this clip because we have covered this one before, but I still wanted to put it in here. Anyways, he goes on to upload this video as a response to somebody asking to see a picture of him from 100 years ago to prove that he's actually a vampire. And he's like, okay, sure. And he grabs a picture and he shows it to you. And he's like, well, I kind of feel like the more I show you, the less you're going to believe me at this point, but whatever. Like, I'm used to this. Fine. I got you. And he shows the picture of him from 100 years ago. And I don't know what I think. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Okay. <laughs> I kind of feel like the more I show you, the more you guys won't believe me. But it's okay. I'm used to this now. <laughs> screenwriting as some of you might know um, just because it's a hard it's a hard industry to crack you know uh, back then they didn't really allow too many black people in uh, silent films you know so you you really had to be animated um, to kind of let them know what you're capable of you know I look back at this picture now and I'm I hate it you know like I feel like I'm I'm pandering to a certain demographic to so that I can fulfill my dreams. Yeah, I hate it. But yeah, that's me. That's me.
Now, obviously that could be his father, that could be his grandfather. I think we all like, basically, we pretty much assumed that. I mean, at least that's where my brain went automatically is how do we know that's not his dad or his grandfather or something? And the answer is we don't. We just have to kind of take his word for it, I guess. But this isn't where it stops with him, okay? This is kind of just where it's getting started <laughs> because he goes a lot further. So let's continue. Then we move on to his third video, which was posted on October 4th of 2023. And this time he was responding to a comment that said, you're committed to this vampire bit. I'll give you that. And Damo responds with saying, I am, but not in the way you think. He's like, I'm not faking it, basically. Like, I am committed to this vampire bit, but it's because I'm a vampire. It's not because I'm faking it and trying to get views. And then he goes on to release what he claims to be text messages that contain supposedly, allegedly, again, according to Damo, these text messages contain true unaliving threats from a group that they call or a group that he calls and refers to as the elders. So he's saying that the quote-unquote elders, whatever this group that he's referring to as the elders, are texting him true unaliving threats, which means the deletion of a vampire, I guess. I'm trying to make this like as censored as I can here, okay? So it means like the unaliving of a vampire, essentially, is a true unaliving threat, according to Damo. Again, this is all according to Damo. This is where I'm getting all my information from is Damo. And I'm going to show you all of that right now. Check it out. He is very committed to it, and he is rather convincing, in my opinion. But that's because, again, I've seen all of the information. I haven't just seen these that I've shown you so far, but we'll get there. You'll have all the information by the end of this video, I promise. Make sure you stick around till the end, because it just gets better. But in my personal opinion, these texts don't prove much. They don't say anything that's truly alarming or, like, very damning, in my opinion. Anybody could have sent these text messages. They don't prove that they came from whatever group is supposedly the elders. They don't say... I, I don't know. In my opinion, these texts don't prove much. Maybe in your opinion, they do. In my opinion, they just don't. But I would love to hear your opinion. But anyways, let's move on, because this isn't the end of it either. So then we move on to his fourth video on this vampire series. And this one was uploaded on October 12th of 2023. And he's responding again to a comment, and this comment says, show us your fangs come out from your real teeth in one video, sir. Like, don't cut it. I want to see your real teeth change into fangs in one video. No cuts. Prove it to me that you're a vampire. And again, for those of you who saw my superhuman, super people video a couple videos back, you're going to recognize this clip as well, but it's important that I included it, so bear with me. So Damo goes on to do just this. He goes from his regular teeth to his fangs, and then he pops his fangs back in, and you even hear like a click with it. It's convincing, guys. Like I've said from the beginning, it's pretty convincing, or I wouldn't be covering this. And then he goes into details like about fangs, and how fangs work, and like all of the questions that he's been getting, right? And he like goes into as much detail and provides as many answers as he can to the most popular questions that he's been getting asked, like on repeat. Check it out. Let me let me explain something about fangs. This is the part of the video where everybody becomes a vampire expert, but those same people don't believe in vampires. <laughs> Y'all humans are weird. <laughs> fangs are like um, your saliva. You don't salivate unless you smell food, you think about food, you about to eat some food. Fangs are the same way. Fangs are not meant to just pop out whenever, you know, this, this ain't true blood. Like, stop with the movie shit. Stop with the movie shit, y'all. Don't stop thinking about all of that shit. When you force fangs out, it hurts, right? Because your body is not naturally opening up for the fangs to drop out. It's like um, if you guys were taking a shit or trying to take a shit and it's just not coming and you force that shit out, right? What happens after that? You guys will get hemorrhoids. Same thing. It's because your, your body wasn't naturally trying to push that shit out. Y'all need to drink more water, by the way. Drink more water. Mind your business, drink some water. It's like lifting something that uh, is too heavy for y'all to lift. What's going to happen? You guys will pull it, pull a muscle. You, you know, you'll get a hernia. Same thing with fangs. Like, like right now, my, my gums hurt. And these are kind of pushing out a little too much. My teeth aren't supposed to pop out like that. That's too far. That's too far. Hmm. 
What's another thing y'all were talking about in the comments? Oh, sunlight. Vampires been here way longer than humans, okay? I don't know which one of y'all started that rumor, but that's a rumor. It was a rumor made to make y'all feel safe. Sunlight. Now, I'm in it right now. We got to go to the store just like y'all, you know, like stores close at a certain time. I can't be waiting until nighttime to go shopping at the supermarket. You feel me? I'm just, we just like y'all. We just like y'all. We just, you know, a little stronger, you know, drink blood. I like these questions though. Keep, keep them coming. I like these questions. Oh, I'm like, you hear me slurring? I can't even talk right. Mm, my gums hurt. But keep these questions coming, you know. Um, oh, just so you know, I might not make it through this series. Uh, I've been getting the true death threats. Uh, true death is the death of a vampire. Um, I don't know why they call it that, because we're not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. And that's another thing. Why, why, y'all? Don't let Dracula fool you. Don't let Dracula fool you. Anyway. Okay. Not the vampire saying, mind your business and drink some water. <laughs> Like, I can't. I literally can't. But he answers a lot of questions here, and he clears up a lot of confusion that people have been having, and, like, stereotypical thoughts that they may have been presuming in their minds about vampires based on movies and TV shows and comic books and stuff that they've read, right? It's just a little weird. It's like he's very factual, and he seems very certain and sure of himself, and he seems like he's telling his truth, in my opinion. But, like I said, maybe he's just a damn good actor and a damn good liar, and this is like a bit. He's... I don't know. I don't know. Like, are vampires real? Can you guys tell me what you think? <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like I'm going crazy over here. So he exposes that like sunlight's a rumor, he's in sunlight, all this stuff, how things work, all that. But then a basic question that this video would raise is why does he need to go to the supermarket if he's a vampire? Hello, right? Well, he answered that too. He says, gotta go to the supermarket to like stare at people and creep them out and quote unquote hunt, of course. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't. I literally can't. He like literally has an answer for everything. You got a question? Damo's got an answer for it and he's gonna clear it up and like convince you that vampires may be actually real, allegedly. I, again, I'm not saying they're real because I don't know, I'm not a vampire, I've never met a vampire and I don't really necessarily want to meet a vampire. But are they real? Could they be real? Let me know what you think. So then we move on to his next video in his vampire series and this one was posted to his TikTok account on October 16th of 2023. And again, he's responding to a comment and this comment says, definitely retractable fangs with like a crying face emoji like y'all are so funny haha <laughs> way to go like you tried to trick us with some retractable things that you can buy on Amazon like nice try we're not buying it so Domo goes on to answer this too and this one really blows my mind I can't and for those of you who saw my superhero video this is gonna be I believe the last clip that you're gonna recognize because they're all new I even have a video that was posted as of recording this it was posted to his TikTok account two days ago so I have like the latest information for you guys we're gonna go through it all so he gets this comment saying definitely retractable things good job nice try so Damo responds to this by opening his mouth and holding it wide open and moving his tongue around and folding his lips back and showing that there is nothing thing in his mouth. Nothing. No retractable fangs, no fake teeth, nothing. And then he goes on again to pull his fangs out and put them back away and show the camera like, look, there's nothing in my mouth and I'm doing this and I'm not lying. And like, I'm trying to tell you I'm a vampire, but your brains won't let you comprehend that because like you're brainwashed and you're just like hardwired to believe that these things don't exist. Watch the video. Let me know what you guys think. Nuts. I know. Like, nuts. And I looked for a cut. Like, I looked for a cut. I didn't see one. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not one there, because obviously I could have just missed it, but I didn't see one. Let me know if you guys found a cut in that video, because, like, that's about the only thing that would explain that, is if he, like, recorded his mouth, ended the video, put the retractable teeth in his mouth, and then, like, recorded another video, and just, like, spliced them together real freaking smooth, and you can't even see the cut. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see the cut. I didn't notice a cut. Let me know. So then you go on to the next video that Damo posted about this vampire series to his TikTok account. 
account. And this one was posted on October 31st of 2023. And this comment said, this childish vampire act is going to take a large part of your audience away. You're funny. Stick to that and the writing. Because like I said, that's what he was doing before this, remember? Well, Damo responds to this comment with probably one of the craziest videos I've seen by far of his. I know, we go straight from that last one to this one, but I tell you, I'm telling you, they just get crazier. Just wait. So Damo responds to this comment and he goes to his fridge and he shows his red drinking fluid that runs through our veins. Okay, I don't know if I can say this, but like hopefully you're understanding what I'm talking about. Well, he goes to his fridge and he opens it up. He grabs a vacuum sealed jar out of his fridge, which he has many of them. Let me just forewarn you. There's That's about all that's in this man's fridge. He grabs one out and then he grabs a teacup and he pours himself a cup and he drinks it while looking like at his follower count on TikTok. Basically saying like, mm, it's not a vampire bit. First of all, this is like real life. I'm telling you, I'm trying to tell you guys my truth, but you guys keep thinking I'm lying. And I think I'm good on the follower count. Like, don't worry about me. I'm good. Just watch the video. Check it out. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause your drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause your drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back, memories bring back you. There's a time that I remember when I did not know no pain. When I believed in forever and everything was still the same. Now my heart feels like December when somebody say your name. Cause I can't reach out and call you. But I know I will one day. Yeah, everybody hurts sometimes. Everybody. I know, okay? Don't come for me. I know. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say it before you even went there, so don't come for me. You're like, Katie, seriously, there's no shot that you think that that is like what's inside of our veins, right? Like that is way too thin to be B-L-O-O-D. Like there's no way. That's not what it is. And there's no way you think that's what it is. Like that's clearly wine or grape juice or something, but it's definitely not what he's claiming it to be. Like, right, Katie, y you can see that? <laughs> yes, I have a brain. Yes, I saw that the first time. And I'm like, this guy's a joke. Like right here, he just ruined it. It. Like right here, like you just proved that you're not a vampire and this is a bit and like maybe you need to stop and maybe you shouldn't have gone this far to show your quote unquote proof because this kind of ruined it for me, if I'm being honest. Until I saw his next video because Damo has an answer for that too. Forewarning, I don't know if I believe him or not, but like I'm definitely not saying that Damo is absolutely a 362 year old vampire who's currently living his 11th life. Like I'm just, <laughs> I'm not saying that's fact and I don't want you to think I am. But I do think it's interesting and it definitely makes you wonder if he's telling the truth. All I'm saying is anytime you have a question about anything that he says, he comes back with an answer that makes like perfectly good sense. You'll see what I mean. Watch him explain why his uh, supply in his fridge was so thin and why it didn't look like normal human red fluid in our veins would look like. Watch what he has to say. <laughs> yes, blood does coagulate when it goes into the fridge. And yes, I'm mixing it with something. Have you ever seen someone cut an orange open and squeeze the juice out of it? Does that juice ever look like what you see in a Tropicana carton? No, there's a reason for that. They've added something to it to preserve it. And by adding that thing, it then changes the texture of your orange juice. Same thing with apple juice, cranberry juice, Strawberry juice? I don't know, is that a thing? A lot of people in this same comment section had the same uh, concern or uh, judgment. I don't know. I assumed everyone reads the comment section, right? So if I answered a few skeptical people, then, you know, maybe you guys would just scroll through, see the answer, and there would be no need for this question anymore. But I'm, I'm seeing that that's not the case, you know? Like, there's a lot of people who still don't believe. Uh, cranberry juice at its finest. Uh, good old wine in the jar trick. Uh, that's a good old trick? Who People, people using that trick a lot? Mmm, cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is not, mmm, come on now, that shit is disgusting. Delicious grape juice. I would never put grape juice in my body. Only y'all would do that. That's weird. Y'all realize that that purple shit don't come out of grapes, but y'all still drinking that shit. Good God. Bro, isn't blood supposed to be thick? That grape juice. Look at me bringing black and white people together. It's wine. It is. It's wine. 
Nigga, I got Jennifer Love Hewitt hitting me with the double comment. <laughs> you like me, huh? <laughs> this is my favorite one, though. This is my favorite one. So blood behaves like red grape juice nowadays? Red grape juice? <laughs> y'all just drinking food coloring. God damn. <laughs> no wonder y'all tweaking. <laughs> So I get it. Yeah, a lot of people don't believe me. I got it. I'm, I'm one person and, and who trusts anybody in this world? You can't trust anybody. There's a bunch of liars out here. So I found this article from BBC.com and the title is weird. The title is weird because it said the people who drink human blood, but then they refer to us as vampires throughout the entire article. It's weird. I don't know. Anyway, if they have the luxury, the vampires refrigerate an excess, which they mix with an edible anticoagulant and store it in sealed vacutainers. Some vampires will make a concoction with tea and herbs, which apparently also helps preserve the blood for longer. That's good tea. Now the next question is, well, what is that preservative? Okay, well, there's two things I add. One thing I'm not going to tell you about because I'm not going to say it on TikTok. The other thing is sodium citrate. Now I'm not going. I'm not. I don't want to be a dickhead, but like you, you could have just Googled this shit. <laughs> But I get it, I get it. Your willfulness to not believe will not allow you to go down certain paths. Because it will fuck with your mind. I get it. It's all good. I'll Google it for you. Sodium citrate is the anticoagulant used during blood collection. The final citrate concentration in blood components is highest in plasma products. Normally, the liver rapidly metabolizes transfused citrates. However, during massive transfusions, the capacity of the liver for citrates for citrate clearance may be exceeded. Listen. None of you have to believe me. Y'all understand that I'm not trying to get y'all to believe me, right? Somebody asked the question and I answered the question. I was just being open and honest with the, the community I have built on this, this app. I'm not on some campaign trying to get you to believe. Like if you if you go to my Instagram page, I'm not even posting any uh, vampire content. Far from relishing the blood drinking, the vampires I've spoken to are desperate to find a more socially acceptable treatment. So that should answer the question for a lot of people who say, oh, well, why are you coming out and saying something about it now? Because, you know, just looking to be more social. Many of us would rather not go through the cyclic symptoms and just be happy to live life like a normal person. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those. I have very good familiars, very kind and understanding familiars. I don't really struggle to get mine. So... I'm okay with how things are going. I'm cool. I'm good. Y'all do not have to believe me. And if you don't, I won't be offended. I won't be offended. We can still chop it up, do other things, laugh at other types of content. It's all good. I'm not trying to prove anything to y'all. And I just want to talk to y'all. You ask me a question, I answer the question. So yeah, I hope that hope that explains it. Also, for the people asking me to uh, kill animals on camera, uh, go seek a therapist. Go seek a therapist. That's good. I know, right? So this video was posted to his TikTok account on November 5th of 2023. And he basically goes through every doubt and question and suspicion that anybody who viewed that video would have had and that we all had, right? We all thought that wasn't real. There's no way that could be real. Why was it so thin? He answered all of it. He gave facts for all of it. The article, the anticoagulant, the preserving it to make it last longer, like legit everything that he just said makes sense. It makes 100% sense. And we know that majority if not all of that, is being done to our food that we buy at the grocery stores. So is it really that far-fetched to think that vampires would do it to their quote-unquote food too? Because I don't think it is. And that article, let me just point out, was a BBC article. Okay, I'm just saying. Like, take that as you will. The BBC article said that vampires exist all over the world and that they store their quote-unquote food exactly like Damo had it stored. So does that mean he's a real-life vampire? Did he just do his research and try to trick us as best he can? I don't know. But, like, he's f***ing with my head. And now I'm starting to question if vampires are real or not. Then you go on to that quote that he showed on Google. The Google quote. I'll pull it up. The final citrate concentration 
concentration in blood components is highest in plasma products. Now, what's the most popular or most common blood donation type all across the United States? Hell, most of the time or all of the time, they'll even pay you for donating it. That's right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ding, ding, ding. We got a winner. Plasma. That's right. You got it right. Plasma. They'll even pay you for donating it. What a little coinky dink that is, huh? I know, another coincidence. Everything's just a goddamn coincidence nowadays. So they get the highest form of whatever the f they need from plasma. And plasma is the one type of blood that they pay you for. I don't know if there's, this is a coincidence. I don't know if I'm drawing like conclusions where it doesn't need to be concluded. I don't know, but it's crazy, isn't it? Because I think it's like beyond nuts. So the next video in this vampire series on Damo's TikTok page was posted on February 5th of 2024. And Damo has a twin brother. For those of you who don't follow him and you are not aware, he has a twin brother who looks almost identical to him. And the comment on this video says, LOL, so are you both vampires? What's going on? Like, what, what's happening here? And he doesn't really necessarily answer it. He just kind of shows a bunch of pictures of him and his brother. But I'm gonna say that they probably both are, only because every picture I see of his brother, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second, but every single picture I see of him, his eyes are glowing, like glowing, like in a strange, unexplainable way. Check it out. And it doesn't stop there. On February 26th of 2024, he gets another comment saying, you look 30 and 60 at the same time. And again, he goes in and explains his age and why this is. And he says, there's a really good explanation for that. I'm both. And not only this time does he explain that he's a vampire. Obviously, I think a majority of his followers know that. And we all know that at this point. Well, we don't know that for a fact, but we know he's claiming that. Okay. But this time in this video, he goes on to explain how vampires age and how they age both ways. He says, according to Damo, humans age one way, like straight to the grave. That's what he says, right? Which is true. We only age one way. We go from babies to old, you know, old ladies and old men, and then we're gone. He says vampires don't age like that. He says it all depends on how well he takes care of his body and if he consumes the quote unquote correct resources or not. Yeah. And then he goes into detail about what those correct resources are. Then Damo also says that most vampire movies get it wrong. But in his opinion, he said that there is one movie that gets it pretty damn close to actually like real life how vampires are. Again, allegedly, this is all Damo's opinion. And that movie that he thinks is the most realistic representation of vampires is called El Conde. And luckily for you all and for me, it is currently on Netflix, like right now, like you can still go watch it. But let's check out this video and hear from Damo exactly how it is that vampires age and what are these correct resources that they need to be consuming in order to take care of their body body properly to age properly. Let's check it out. <laughs> what if I told you that there's a really good explanation for that? Allegedly. The reason why I may look 30 and also look 60 is because I'm both. So allegedly, this is me in 1990. What if I were to tell you that I'm older in this picture than I am in this picture? Would that would that make sense to you? Allegedly, of course. So I don't age like you my age. You guys have just one direction when it comes to aging, uh, straight to the grave. Aging for me is is kind of like a free for all, right? It it all depends on whether or not I'm taking care of myself and giving myself the right resources from time to time. I've celebrated my 30th birthday four times. I've celebrated my 60th birthday three times. This is 1990. Uh, this is after I consumed the right resources. This is me uh, in 1944, 45, allegedly. This is me in the lobby of uh, the Chelsea Hotel. I was waiting on Gordon Parks. If you don't know Gordon Parks, he's a uh, renowned, world-renowned photographer, a musician, composer. He wrote books. He's actually one of the founders of Essence Magazine. 
I did him a favor and, and I said I'd go to my grave with this favor. I'd never tell anybody. Anyway, I did him a favor and he repaid me with friendship. So this is me just waiting in the lobby, uh, waiting for him to come down. Uh, it was like a great Gatsby theme party or some shit like that. Uh, I might be getting that wrong. That was a while ago. So now you're probably asking yourself, well, what is it that I'm consuming? Some of y'all already know, so I don't have to say it. Some of y'all are catching on and some of y'all haven't caught on yet. Don't worry, I'm about to show you something that explains it all. But first, I just want to say that a lot of the movies that you guys watch about vampires, allegedly, most of those movies aren't really giving you the truth, you know? A few movies get close. Uh, a few movies get close. But the movie that I think gets it the closest is uh, El Conde. It's, uh, uh, it means uh, The Count. It's on Netflix right now. Uh, I, would, I highly suggest it. It was a good movie, you know, even if you're not a vampire or not interested in va vampires or if you know you're allegedly a vampire. It's well known that vampires' hearts are the most delicious by far. They are also the most efficient for renewing our bodies. It's hard to explain, but every fiber of heart that descends through our chests makes us young. preferred to remain in this country of Robin. I didn't have much choice. Tell them today, do as they please. And of course, none of this is real, right? <laughs> I've said allegedly a lot in this video. I've said allegedly a lot. I even said allegedly when I didn't need to say alleged allegedly, just to make sure y'all knew it was alleged. Right, so there shouldn't be any like government agents knocking at my door, you know, asking for vampires or anything because That'd be crazy because I said allegedly. I definitely said it. Yeah, I told you this is just going to get weirder and weirder and darker and darker. And by the end of it, you're going to be questioning whether or not vampires really exist. At least I think majority of you will be because I definitely am. Now in his next video, this one was posted on March 2nd of 2024. And again, he is responding to a comment, but this comment reads, we need to see birth certificates. Like I need to see your birth certificate and prove to me that you are a vampire, please. Like need to see it. I need some proof here. So Damo does just this. He goes and gets his birth certificate and he shows them. However, on top of that, he explains on the screen, he has written that his seventh birth certificate from 1772, so like his seventh life birth certificate from 1772, his birth certificate from his eighth life in 1777, and his birth certificate from his ninth life in 1860 were all burnt, lost, and destroyed in the second great fire of London. So he doesn't have those, right? He doesn't have copies of his seventh, eighth, or ninth life birth certificates because they were all destroyed destroyed in the Second Great Fire of London, according to Damo. But he says he does have his 10th life birth certificate from when he was born in 1925. And he goes on to show it to us. Now keep in mind, the birth certificate that you are going to see in this video is not Damo's birth certificate. This is supposedly, allegedly, according to Damo, this is his birth certificate from his previous life that he lived right before becoming Damo Draper. So he said in the beginning of the video that he was a 362 year old vampire who was currently living his 11th life under the name of Damo Draper. So on his 10th life, the life right before this, is the one that he is going to be showing us the birth certificate for. Okay, I just wanted to clear up any confusion there. Let's check it out.
did you see how old that fucking piece of paper was? Like, yo. And then he showed all the important info. Like, obviously, we can't prove that that's his birth certificate, obviously. Like, it could be his grandfather's or, like, an uncle's or, like, something like that. I don't know. But what do you think? Because at this point, it's like, he's doing a damn good job of proving it. And if he is telling the truth, he's, like, begging for people to believe him. And, like, everybody's just like, nah, nah, not good enough, not good enough. Like, what would he have to do at this point to prove it to us? He's shown his birth certificate. He's pulled out his fangs. I mean, he has given a lot of, like, quote-unquote proof. Now, do you believe it or not is the question, I guess. Now, that birth certificate said that his previous name from his 10th life was Silas Draper Downing and that he was a triplet. Now, I would be interested to research that name. Maybe we could do that in, like, a part two and see what we can find. Maybe we can find some type of, like, important information to either prove or, like, disprove this once and for all. I don't know, but it's super fucking weird either way. So then his next video was posted on July 30th of 2024, and this was right around the time um, when all the vampires in New Orleans stuff was, like, trending and everybody was talking about it on TikTok, right? That was right when that was going on is when he posted this video. So he got a comment and it says, as a vampire yourself, what do you make of all the encounter stories coming out right now? Talking about all the, you know, vampire encounter stories that were trending all over TikTok at the time. That's what this comment is, like, alluding to or, you know, asking about. So Donald goes on to respond to this comment in the video. And in this video, he listens to this woman's story of what happened to her and her personal account. And then he gives his take on what he thinks she experienced and what most likely happened to her based on all the information that he knows about vampires. And let me just forewarn you, it is unsettling and kind of twisted. Like, he goes into details about different vampire breeds and what, like, regions of the world that they live in and, like, um, their appearances and feature, like, you know, facial features and just, like, physical features that they would have and how that would expose what regions of the world that those certain vampires would, you know, be coming from. Again, all allegedly, according to Damo, not factual. He goes into detail about how vampires make you forget. He ca- talks about, quote-unquote, superpowers that vampires possess and, like, you know, how they do things that humans can't do. It is crazy. Like, it is wild. Check it out. Just check it out. There's a lady on TikTok talking about her encounter with vampires, so I'm as well talk about mine. This New Year's Eve, I was driving Lyft, and I picked up an order. And it ended up being at, like, a, a place that used to be a church, but it wasn't a church anymore, obviously, if you saw the festivities that was going on. There were, like, people with cloaks and, like, dark hair and heavy eyeliner, and there was, like, a, lot, a red glow from the building coming out. Four guys got into my car. As soon as they got into the car, I felt a chill. And yes, it was winter, but it was a different kind of chill. The chill that she's talking about is not like the chill you get when you go outside and it's cold and you've been in a warm room. It's not like that. The chill she's talking about is similar to the chill you get when you've been in a room for a while and all of a sudden the chill takes you. You know, like you, you do this, you shiver, and say, ooh. And someone says, go, Yo, are you cold? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like that chill. It's not like a fever chill. It's not like that. But I'm just taking a guess. I can't confirm nor deny what she's saying is true. Oh, these are vampires. There were two brunettes and two blondes. They all had blue eyes. Not that that mean anything, but their eyes were almost hypnotically blue. They were so clear. You could see through their, like, not their soul, but I can't even describe it. Their skin was white, but not white, like crayon white, but it was very pale, but it was not a pale, like, you know, some like white people are like, oh, I'm so pale. Even like red, people with red hair, how pale, it was a diff, it was still a different kind of pale because even regular people, when they're pale, there's still some warmness to their skin. Like their skin looked I don't know how to describe it. They're either from Russia, Switzerland, or Alaska. I'm chopping down some of her video, but in the video, she goes on to say that they look like they have old money, which leads me to believe that it's Switzerland that they're from. But again, I don't, you know, I'm just taking a guess, educated assumption. Immediately, I start to panic. My heart is racing. I'm feeling like, is it too late to reject the call? Like, can I even ask them to leave the vehicle? And then I started thinking, okay, if I am panicking and my blood pressure is rising, then I'm like pushing more blood through my veins, which may mean that I may see more appetizing to them. They absolutely knew. 
the man behind me, the blind, who was like in the middle, touches my shoulder and immediately, it's like somebody poured warm honey over me. Like that is the calm just spreading down my body. It was like immediately I felt relaxed. Almost like I was in a trance kind of there, but like watching myself. I, I don't know this from personal experience, of course. But I have heard that vampires can secrete a sweat from their hand uh, that affects humans in that way. Whereas though it, once it touches your skin, it relaxes you. It's kind of like a like CBD, I guess. <laughs> I think that's why people believe vampires hypnotize people. It, it, vampires can't hypnotize anyone. They they get you relaxed and then talk to you. It's more of a gift of gab and CBD. But also, like, I'm taking a guess. I have no idea if that's actually a thing. You know, like, you guys should look it up. Use use Google and stuff. And I knew at that moment that I wasn't necessarily in danger. So then the guy is like, well, our car is only a few blocks away, which I could tell from looking at the app. And he's like, but before we get there, we need you to answer a question. And you have to think very carefully about this. So now I'm like, okay, this answer is going to determine if I go home to my children or not. It could just be my imagination and like me jumping the gun and he could have been joking, but it didn't feel jokey. He wasn't joking, but you weren't in danger. Like a, just taking a guess at just, I don't know. He's like, okay, well, we have two separate cars. How would you group us together? Who should ride with who? What? So I'm like, uh, I look back at them and they're smiling and they're kind of giggling. Now their teeth don't look like regular teeth, but they don't look like the typical vampire teeth either. But they definitely did not look like human teeth. Their canines were a little bit more pronounced, but not in a dramatic fake way i can't even freaking describe it and actually if i had to describe them to sketch them out right now i couldn't even it's like they're a memory but not like a typical memory like a memory behind a memory i can't describe it she can't remember it because that's another effect of the hand sweat taking it just guessing i grouped the opposite hair colors together and the guy said, well, why did you do that? I said, I don't know. It just felt right. He said, excellent choice. He took out his phone and he's like, I'm going to start my car now. And I'm like, you can start your car from my car. And he's like, yeah, but we like you. You'll get home safe. Good. Like you'll get tonight. Have a if they wanted to do something to her, they would have done it at the beginning of the ride. Or so I've heard so fucking creepy right like her story alone was creepy enough but then like his take on it and his twist on it and like how he explained and detailed and like no thank you mm -mm. he made it so much worse like he made it so much more real than she made it and she, it was already pretty real and pretty damning when she was telling the story like i already believed her and he made it worse i don't like it his explanation just made it a hundred times like more believable to me i don't know but like i'm starting to see vampires as a real type of being or creature that could be on this planet because is Dom telling the truth what do you think is he just really good at like this and he's just like pulling the wool over everybody's eyes or is he like dead ass a vampire who's like trying to tell us he's a vampire and like we just won't believe him because we are hardwired as humans to like not believe any claim like that like we are brainwashed basically crazy let me know what you think so then the next video was posted to damo's tiktok account on september 11th of 2024 and again he's responding to a comment this comment says how do you become a vampire and damo says vampires aren't real unless you're asking hypothetically <laughs> In my opinion, he's starting to seem more cautious about this. Now, is that because the quote unquote elders are still mad at him for exposing this and he's starting to be more wary and more aware and cautious of what he shares and how he shares it? And he's making sure to say allegedly and supposedly and stuff a lot more now than he ever did before? Or is that because like TikTok shadow banning him and he isn't getting his messages out there? I don't know. But I definitely notice a change in the way that he talks in these videos compared to how he talked in the beginning. I'm just going to 
point that out. You take it for whatever you will. Hypothetically, if you're talking hypothetically, there would be two ways to become one. The first way is if you're bitten. But not only if you're bitten, you have to be bitten and then the vampire blood has to course through your veins and then you have to ingest some of the vampire blood too. So I gotta bite him back. Uh, that's what I'm taking from it. Then he says the change takes anywhere from one to three days and 90% of people don't make it past day one. Yeah. Then he says the second way that you can become a vampire, second and last way, there's only two ways according to Damo. The second way is that you are born into a vampire family, otherwise known as like a quote unquote true blood or a pure blood. At least these are Damo's claims. This is what Damo says. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourselves. How did you become a vampire? Vampires don't exist. <laughs> Vampires don't exist. Unless you're asking me hypothetically. And then, if that's the case, hypothetically, here are a few things you should know about vampires. Hypothetically. There are two ways to become a vampire. Hypothetically. The first way is if you are bitten. But it's not just you being bitten. The vampire saliva has to course through your veins. That's where the biting comes in. And then after that, you have to ingest vampire blood. Hypothetically. Then the process of changing takes two, three days, give or take. That change time varies from person to person, so it doesn't even really matter. The most important thing is that you make it through the first day. 90% of people don't make it through the first day. And the other way is if you're born into it, uh, pure blood. I've never been bitten by a vampire before. What's another question I get? Can I change you? Fuck no. Try and get the feds over here? <laughs> You'll die. <laughs> Hypothetically. Hypothetically. I saw a movie one time about vampires and apparently they couldn't see themselves in a mirror. I don't know, for some reason, that seemed very unrealistic to me. In another movie, a vampire was sprayed with garlic and it killed him. That too right there seems unrealistic to me, for whatever reason. You know what I like eating a lot? Pasta. I love pasta with extra garlic. I love garlic. Do vampires age? That's another question I hear a lot. Yes, everything that is alive ages. I just age differently than you know, vampires. Vampires age differently. Like if hy hypothetically, it's a hypothetical conversation. I saw this movie. It was on Netflix one time. Um, Konda, I believe it was called. Uh, they were eating entire hearts, and the process of eating an entire heart would make them grow younger. That was pretty realistic to me, for whatever reason. That that is a real thing in my head. In regards to this hypothetical that we're talking about that was real do vampires live forever vampires are not immortal like you can't just sit around and live forever like you could kill a vampire hypothetically hypothetically you, you could kill a vampire there's a, there's a few ways to kill a vampire um, hypothetically one way is you know like literally another way is a wooden stake uh, but not like you can't just stab them anywhere. It, it would literally have to pierce their heart and you got to really get it in there Because I've seen some survive that shit hypothetically Hypothetically This is all hypothetical Can vampires fly? No Do I need to grab a bird and show you the mechanics of flying? Silly goose <laughs> Hypothetically Hypothetically if you're a vampire and you've been living for a very long time, where's the wealth? <laughs> this is not every vampire, but a lot of vampires out there know how to live within their means. We know that a lot, uh, vampires know that a lot more than humans. I think it's because humans have a limited amount of time on this earth, so they try to gain as much as they can no matter how it affects their kind. Like humans would literally poison other humans to get a little money. <laughs> Vampires know that materialistic things don't matter. They don't matter. 
you buy them and then you forget about them in a year. We're happy with this gift called the world. Now, don't get it twisted. Like, there's some, there's a lot of rich vampires in like Switzerland, Romania, um, but I wouldn't even call them greedy rich. Like, they, they're good businessmen. Greed is just not a vampire thing. It's like that. That's a y'all thing. Uh, that's a that's a human thing. That's like a me me and you, because I'm included in the group that you're in, because I'm human too. Can vampires hypnotize people? So it's technically not hypnotizing. It's more of um, it's it's like okay, you know how alcohol gives you liquid courage, right? The liquid that's now in your system is giving you the courage to do something other than what you would normally do, right? Okay, from my uh, vampires' palms are able to secrete a sweat-like liquid that if they touch you with it and that gets into your system, it kind of gives you that feeling of being relaxed, calm, as if you just took a couple shots. And then after that, it's just a gift of gab. Hypothetically. Like creepy, dude, creepy. All the myths about vampires that humans like believe is factual because of all these stupid movies and TV shows and shit that he went over, like the garlic lie, we're just seasoning ourselves, the sunlight lie, we're just like manipulating ourselves and lying to ourselves and convincing ourselves that we're safe in the sunlight and like in the light and that's why everybody's probably like scared of the dark low key and we don't even know why we're scared of it but we just are. It's like a hardwired thing into our brain. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. And then he went into details about the movie El Conde and why he thinks that the movie was so realistic in regards to like a heart and how they eat. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to be as censored here as I can, guys, but creepy, 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 creepy. Let me know what you guys think. Is Damo a vampire? Is he telling us the truth or is he full of crap? I need to know what you think. And just hold on because we're not done yet. We're almost done, but we're not done yet. So this next quick video was posted on October 1st of 2024 and Damo covers the garlic vampire lie in more detail in this quick short video that he uploaded. He just talks on the garlic vampire lie and how humans are basically seasoning themselves. Check it out. Garlic is associated with antiplatelet activity, which means it may help prevent blood clots from forming, meaning that garlic simply makes you easier to drink. I told you, vampires are using garlic to season you. That means that the idea that garlic wards off vampires is a trick by Big Suck. <laughs> Big Suck is a wild wow one, but you know, okay. They straight up said vampires use garlic to season you. And then he showed a reflection of himself in the mirror. So I don't know what to believe anymore. So then you go on to the next video posted by Damo. And this one was posted on October 4th of 2024. Again, he's responding to a comment. And this comment reads, Do vampires age and pass away eventually after hundreds of years? And in this video, Damo goes over details about how exactly vampires age and how they pass away. And then he goes over why he has the gray patch of hair and what what that means and what that symbols to other vampires and so on and so forth. If you thought we were done with the weird, you were mistaken. It doesn't stop there. Check this out. Do vampires age and die eventually after hundreds of years? Vampires can age and die after like two years, three years, four years, 15 years. Vampires are not immortal. Hypothetically. This is all hypothetical. The more a vampire consumes is the younger that vampire will get, hypothetically. They're doing a thing that I can't tell you about because I don't want anybody telling me I'm influencing people to do dangerous shit. I already got people in the comment section talking about Jesus Christ coming back. I need to repent. Psh, Jesus Christ on CP time. Bro been coming back for a minute. Vampires just age slowly. They, they still age, right? A question I keep getting is, if I'm a vampire, then why do I have gray hair? First of all, how I'd answer that question is to say, <laughs> I'm a human, and this is what happens to humans. I'm just like you, right? Secondly, and hypothetically, if you're around long enough, certain aspects of your age will start to show. So while my face will look younger, hypothetically, this mark will be with me forever. No matter how much I go back and how much I go forward, this is always going to be with me. But what this does is let another 
being like myself know how old I actually am. So while you might look at me and say, oh, you got gray hair, but you look young in the face, somebody else who's just like me will look at me and say, oh, you 100 years my senior, hypothetically. A being who has been around for at least 300 years will always have something to show for it, whether it's bags under their eyes or a gray patch, whatever. Like that's a tell right there. If you look at a little kid and that little kid has bags under his or her eyes, that's a tell sign right there, hypothetically, hypothetically. I think a lot of y'all think vampires can't age because of what movies have been telling y'all. It's the same thing with garlic. Hypothetically, let's say there's a council out there and that council operates in a realm of storytelling so that they can manipulate humans into making their lives easier and the lives of all of their people. So take for instance, hypothetically, garlic. It was put out there that garlic will repel vampires. But what if that was vampires just making sure humans consumed a lot of garlic. Why would they do that? Well, maybe it's because garlic is a natural blood thinner. Which one's easier to drink? Apple juice or a smoothie? <laughs> hmm? Do with that information as you will. Vampires not being able to walk around in daylight. <laughs> what if, hypothetically, that was just put out there to make humans feel like it was safe enough to just walk around in the daytime. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right? One more thing too, one more thing. I saw a video of Roseanne talking about vampires and how they like to eat human flesh. No, we, no they don't. No, they don't. But you know who like to eat human flesh? Slave owners. Slave owners. I wonder if Roseanne's ancestors were slave owners. <laughs> I know, right? But he's pretty damn convincing. You gotta give him that. So then you go on to the next video posted by Damo, and this one was posted on October 8th of 2024. Again, he's responding to a comment, and this comment reads, Is your twin a vampire as well? And Damo responds to this question by making a video of him recording himself while he asks his brother, Hey, they want to know if you're a vampire. And his brother does not respond kindly to this. He does not like the fact that his brother is, according to them, exposing them to the world as vampires, and that he is putting them at risk with the elders. He's putting himself at risk, his brother at risk, his mother at risk. The elders are very mad, they're upset, and that it was funny in the beginning, but now it's not. Now it's serious. People are paying too much attention, and he needs to stop. His brother gets very upset when he asks him this question. It's nuts. He's like, that's enough. Enough's, en enough's enough. Cut it out. It's crazy. I'm, I'm telling you, it's really something. Check it out. Yo, bro. Yo. They want to know if you if you a vampire too. What? What are you talking about? The uh, TikTok. Bro, I swear to God. Yo, stop telling them about us. Stop this shit now. Stop all this fuck shit. The, you heard what the council said. The only reason you still here is because of mom, bro. Oh, relax. Fire, all right, bro. relax, relax. Shit now. You sitting there laughing like it's a fucking joke, bro. They already told you what they're going to do if you keep this shit up. Bro, I love you, but if they come after you, I'm not fucking standing in the way because you're doing this shit to your fucking self. So you're not, you're not going to avenge me if they come after me? I look like Tony Stark, you stupid bitch. I get what you was doing in the beginning. I get it. But that shit is over, bro. It didn't work. Also, you dummy, think about mom. Mom ain't like me. If they come after you, you're going to start a war because mom is going to defend you. Now you're going you to pull mom into a war? We ain't vampires. I'm just joking. You being selfish. You're not thinking about nobody but yourself. What the fuck are you doing? It's a joke. And you better not be recording this shit either, bro. I swear to God. Now, the first couple times I watched this, I'm like, dude, his brother is being dead ass. Dead ass. Like, he's mad. He's mad that his brother is exposing them and he wants this shit to stop. And this actually right here kind of proved it to me that maybe they really are vampires because of how upset that his brother got. Then I went back and listened to this part right here. I want you to listen to it before I say anything and tell me if you think this part right here sounds a little weird or there's anything wrong with it or if you notice anything. Just check it out. I get what you was doing in the beginning. I get it. But that shit is over, bro. It didn't work. Also, you dummy, think about mom. Mom ain't like me. If they come after you, you gonna start a war because mom is gonna defend you. Now you gotta, you gonna pull mom into a war? We ain't vampires. I'm just joking. 
You being selfish. You're not thinking about nobody but yourself. Did you notice anything? To me, this part right here sounds like he is reading a script. That's what it sounds like to me. Like I can hear him in my head. I can, I'm literally, I can watch him read one line, take a pause and go to the next line. Maybe I'm stretching. You guys let me know if you can hear the same thing. Just the part of him alone being like, dummy, think about ma. Pause right there is like the end of the line. And then I see him going back to the next line where he's like, you won't start a war. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. That one part to me sounds like he's reading a script almost. Now, does that mean he is reading a script and this is fake? No, absolutely not. That could just be the way he talks and maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but I just can't present you with all the facts without pointing every, out, like without pointing out every single thing that I noticed. I feel like it would be a disservice to not only you all watching this, but like the storyline and everything that we're trying to get at and I had to point it out. Now, what do you guys think? Do you hear what I'm saying? Does it sound like he's reading from a script? I'll play it again for you one more time. Take a listen. Let me know what you think. I get what you was doing in the beginning. I get it. But that shit is over, bro. It didn't work. Also, you dummy, think about mom. Mom ain't like me. If they come after you, you gonna start a war because mom is gonna defend you. Now you, got, you gonna pull mom into a war? We ain't vampires. I'm just joking. You being selfish. You're not thinking about nobody but yourself. Is he being for real or is he reading from a script? Honestly, I really don't know, but I would love to hear your take on it. Now, this next video is the last video that I have from Damo. This video was uploaded on October 17th of 2024. So as of recording this video, it was uploaded to his TikTok account two days ago. By the time I get it edited and up onto YouTube, it'll probably be obviously a few days after that. But irregardless, this is his most recent video that was uploaded on October 17th of 2024. 24. And again, just like all the other videos, he's responding to a comment. This comment reads, imagine if vampires were trying to come out and be real with us, but we're just like, hm, you lying. Like, we don't believe you. And Damo responds to this comment by making a video and saying, this is legit what's happening. And then he gives details about why humans don't believe him and how we're just brainwashed and what he thinks on this whole scenario. Just check it out. Imagine. Imagine. I understand why people don't believe. I, I mean, I completely get it. If you're fed information all your life and you've never had anything contradict that information, why wouldn't you believe that information? But then you got to ask yourself, where did I get that information from? When people in the comments write things like, well, how are you a vampire if you have gray hair? Or how are you a vampire if you're standing in the sun? I then ask them, why wouldn't I be able to do those things? And then they'll comment back things that they've seen in movies and read in books. But they don't want to tell me that that's where they got it from. And the reason why they don't want to tell me where they got it from is because they know that movies aren't real. Books aren't real. It's just what you've been fed all these years. Vampires don't come out in the day. That would benefit vampires. So now you think you're safe in the day. Vampires don't like garlic. Well, now you're eating garlic and your blood is thinner. I always ask people to cite their sources. And that's when the conversation is usually over. They'll argue with me. But they can't tell me where their talking points come from. Doesn't that sound like brainwash? Doesn't it sound like y'all brainwashed? Some will say, show me your strength or show us how fast you heal. That would be me taking a really huge risk basically stepping too close to the fire, Icarus style. My goal is to enlighten, but I also don't want to harm my kind. That's not my intention. I've actually already showed y'all something, and some of y'all might say that's not enough. While that might be true, it's also necessary to take very tiny steps. And for those who actually don't believe, even though they saw that, it really doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure that there are a lot more people who believe now as opposed to when I started this it's progress this is all hypothetical obviously obviously yeah sorry this is hypothetical and uh, for no apparent reason I just want to give this bit of information if you like vampires uh, and you have pink roses growing outside of your house Cut those and burn them expeditiously Please and thank you Hypothetically There's a full moon tonight, I knew it 
Now this is the last and latest update that we have from Damo, at least as of the time I'm making this video. Now as always, I always put the creator's tags on screen, so Damo Draper's tag is on screen throughout this video. If you want to go to TikTok and look him up yourself and see if he has any new content as of the time you're seeing this video, be my guest. But that was his latest video that was uploaded two days ago as of the time I'm recording this video. But it's really pretty creepy because when you really think about it, he kind of has a point. Like he's shown more than enough proof at this point for people to believe him. Like I don't know what other proof he could show. I really don't. So at this point, maybe humanity is brainwashed. Like maybe we really are just like hardwired not to believe claims like this. I don't think that's that far-fetched to believe. And hell, if we're being honest, it's not the first time that we've been brainwashed into believing something that's not true. Humanity has been brainwashed into believing lies all throughout history. So now you have all the information, you have all the facts, you have all the tea on why people are saying that Donald Draper is a vampire. Take all this information in as you will, and let me know what you guys think. Are vampires real? Is Damo really a vampire? Is he trying to come out to us and tell us that, hey, I'm a vampire and they're real, but you guys just don't believe me? Because like I said, he's presented more than enough facts and more than enough proof at this point. I, honest to God, I do not know what else he could do to prove the fact that he's a vampire other than what he's already done. He's shown birth certificates. He's shown old pictures. He's given, like, details. He speaks about this issue with such, like, certainty. I don't know. He just seems so convincing when he talks. He doesn't seem like he's lying. He seems like he is telling his truth. So what do you think? Is he a vampire? Do vampires really exist? Or am I just drinking the Kool-Aid and I need to set it down? I don't know. But that is all that I have to share with you today. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Plus my two-year-old is like over me making this video. I started it while he was napping and he is up now. I'm sure you hear him playing in the background. So we're going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it as always. And for those of you who made it to the end of this video, you already know y'all are the real ones. Do me a favor and drop a comment saying fact or fiction if you made it all the way to the end of this video. And if you didn't like the video in the beginning of the video, do me a favor and smash the hell out of the like button now because he's been running his mouth and he needs you guys to handle him as always. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, come on over and get subscribed to our channel, but make sure you hit that little bell icon so hopefully YouTube will let you know whenever I upload new videos just like this. But I'm gonna jump on out of here. Take care of each other. I love you all so much. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!